the last time, you know, organizations got involved in more civil society, we had company towns and child labor and sweatshops. Um, so, yeah, I, I'd rather they didn't engage with their current incentives and notions and quarter to quarter results focus. No, I'd rather organizations did get more involved. You know, and, and you do see some some aspects, right? So in the education system, you know, the 21st century skill and it's a consortium or initiative, I forget the, the down there, uh, with Cisco and Microsoft and some others trying to help K-12 and university communities understand the labor force needs, the workforce needs um, of companies. What skills am I going to need? And uh, I mentioned in the thing that you know, I've, there's one organization, one large defense contractor uh, that came to the Department of Education and said, I need 10,000 engineers over the next 10 years. Can I use Americans? I don't know. You can, are you going to provide, is the education system in the United States going to provide 10,000 engineers that can work this? And our contracts are national security contracts. We can't hire other people so far. So how do we do that? Now, that to me was good. That was noble. That was outreach saying, looking long, long-term thinking, understanding the U.S. education system is miserable and needs some work in the K-12 space, especially. Um, but at the same time, it reinforced the notion that the education system exists to feed people to companies, not that the education system exists to, you know, advance who we are as individuals and help us evolve and, you know, embrace and build better societies. So without the, the attention towards that community focus that you're talking about, corporations are perfectly happy to say, well, no, you have conveyor belts. We have skill needs and revenue uh, expectations of those skills coming in. So you just have to give them to me better. Of course, one slight, slight top side note, um, it is true in the U.S. especially that the K-12 to system is, to me, completely disconnected from the university system. So universities don't convey what they need, what, 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 what emerging children out of the high school system need to succeed in university. And the labor force, likewise, is not talking to the universities nor the K-12. So you've got three important stakeholders in evolving people and, and learning and understanding new skills. And you understand the shift in education that sometimes what you start with you know, the, when, when you start college, the four years later, a, a third of the jobs you thought you could do don't exist anymore, and we have new ones. So there's a need for this kind of coordination, but it doesn't happen. So should companies step into that stream and help out? Yes, they, they need to. The stakeholders are still just spinning without any kind of coordination or cooperation. At the same time, the dark side is that's not the only job for education. Our only, our aspiring force as individuals should not just be, how do I map myself into the right organization? In fact, it needs to be, how do we evolve ourselves into the better societies? And what is the company's role in that society? That's the center, is the community, not the corporations or the private interest and you know, capital markets.